You know what's good, YouTube. It's Crotavio here, back again once again. Last time, we failed. We failed against N and Getsis. I retrained up a whole new team. It's been a couple days since then. And let's party update. Out front, we have our careful nature Cotney named Eli with the prankster ability, which is going to give a boost to all four of her moves. Poison Powder, Minimize, Leech Seed, Cotton Guard. I have the Eviolite on this simply because I am making this a wall and I want to go as trolly as possible. Set up a couple of Minimizes and Leech Seed Poison Powder stole them to death. I don't care if you don't like that, that's the way it's gotta be. Rosa, come through for me, baby! Then we have our relaxed Del Caddy named Cutie Fox. That is the screen name that she usually goes by. This thing has a fake out, attract, minimize, and assist. Then we have our MVP of the party the Terminator. The Genesect. With download ability, Lava Plume, Metal Sound, Bug Buzz, and Tri Attack. Then here's our wall of the team. Our Calm Nature Steelix. With a sturdy ability, Synthesis to get him back to full HP so his sturdy can pop yet again. Iron Tail, Smackdown, and Crunch. On Fortunately, we have an adamant Jellicent named Titanic with the water absorbability, the mystic water with Roar of Time, Hex, and Hydro Pump and recover to get some HP back. <sighs> I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this Pokemon is going to be the one that we get the final kill with. The reason I say that is it is our starter, Clap, the Naughty Nature Dugong. With Thick Fat, Bug Buzz, Surf, Lava Plume, and Ice Beam. This is... This is it, guys. We have two battles today. If we do not beat this, we have three Pokemon left. Ignore all that rustle in the background. Three Pokemon we would have left. Semi Seer... You know, Semi Sage. S Semi Seer, Semi Sage... And a Watchhog. If it comes down to it, I will overlevel. Because I will not lose. I will have three Pokemon. Two of them cannot learn any more moves. And I will win. I don't care what it takes. I will win. Now before we take another step, I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to save right here. Because we have a... Oh, we have a battle coming up, guys. We have a hell of a battle coming up, and I am not looking forward to it. We only have to face Skeksis! Oh my god! We only have to fight Getsis. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we beat Getsis? Yon Mega, that is awful for me. But I'm gonna try to set up a few minimizes already. If I can get to three minimizes, I'm basically unkillable. And I'm sorry if you don't like this. Get out of here with that. There are going to be a few I've got to set up. Once I get them set up, I will be okay. I can leech seed and poison powder stall. And I am sorry if you don't like... I'm sorry if you don't like stall, but... With the luck I have been having, I am not losing this battle. So I'm at plus three now. U-turn is going to miss. And I'm going to get a priority poison powder off to start whittling down this Yamega. You're not going to be able to hit a U-turn. I guarantee it. Now with the poison off, I'm going to go ahead and set up 
two cotton guards. I'm going to be a plus six defense. I'm going to have an Eviolite, and I'm going to be poisoning the Shamega as it slowly begins to die. Once I get my Leech Seed off, I will then start to set up a few more Minimizes. That way, I'm untouchable. And if you really find this style of battle boring, I am sorry, but I'm not risking it. Set up my Leech Seed now. I'm Ooh! He hit! Oh! Oh! I'm gonna set up another Minimon. My invasion won't go any higher. And I'm gonna pop off a Leech Seed. There's almost no chance of this... I can live one. No, I cannot. That was stupid of me. Let's go out to clap, and let's surf. I'm sorry, Eli. You fell, because I was stubborn. It's not one-shotting. Oh god, no, no, that is going to hurt. That's gonna kill, that's gonna kill, isn't it? you I have doubted you from the very beginning thank you now who do we go to I feel like going to Titanic and hydro pumping this thing I don't like running hydro pump but I didn't think to give him surf until just right now and plus he's down one Pokemon he has one poisoned so he's essentially down to four and a half Earthquake, we can live one. Right? Right? You are not living a Hydro Pump, though. There's no way you're living this Hydro Pump. Thank you. Memo Swine is down. Remember, we still have three healing items per battle. This Haunch Crow is the thing that has given me nothing but trouble throughout this entire thing. So, I have a possibility... So a 160 attack to compared to a 104. I'm actually going to go with the what I believe to be the smart option and go to Terminator. The reason I'm going to Terminator is because a lava plume will either kill or it should hopefully burn. And hopefully he has lower special. Oh, that is huge. The question is now. What will do more, a stab neutral bug buzz or a flame boosted? Okay, so stab is two. I want to check out which one of these moves has a higher base power. Lava plume or bug buzz? 80 and 90. I'm going to go with the bug buzz. One shot. You're at plus one stab. We one shot the Hunch Crow. Tornadus. I'm gonna go to Claptrap. Claptrap, I believe in you, bud. You got this. You got so much defense behind you. Physical defense behind you that there's no way this thing's one shot you. It can't one shot you as is. So what the hell am I talking about? Air Slash misses, but SmackDown won't. He is now... Every hit is going to be neutral on him. He has no weaknesses anymore. Because... No, his ground immunity is just gone. So I'm going to try to hit an Iron Tail. This Air Slash is going to kind of hurt, but not too bad. And I'll miss my Iron Tail. I'm going to synthesis up. This does not count as a healing item. This counts as a move. Now I'm healing up. Not that. Full restore. Remember, we have three of these per battle. This is our first. Claptrap. You can take a few of these. So let's go ahead and hit him with the Iron Tail. As long as we don't flinch here, we should be okay. 
Iron Tail is our most powerful move on Claptrap. And we get the Fence Fall. I don't feel like risking it because of a potential crit. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up Claptrap one last time. Not last time because I have one other healing item. That's doing about 40 each turn. I'm going to go for the safe crunch. And as long as we do not flinch here, we, we will kill it. Told you. The tornado is down. Scolipede. Let's go back out to the Terminator. Terminator, I believe in you. I believe that you can one-shot a Scolipede with a Lava Plume. The reason- this is- The Omega and the Scolipede is the reason I put this on here. I know that he has these Pokemon because I fought- I fought him last time. I know his entire team. I'm thankful that I did not have to fight in in this video. Because we were able to get out Scott Free last time and we one-shot- I repeat, one-shot the Scolipede with a Lava Plume. Final Pokemon. Yan Mega. I'm not doing it. If we weren't in such an intense battle, I would do it, but I was gonna switch out to Cutie Fox. It is not even worth it. I'm just gonna pick up the kill here because either the poison will end up taking him out. Or the Lava Plume here will. Doesn't even matter about the poison because we take out the Yon Mega and Getsis is done! <sighs> that was intense. Holy crap, was that scary! <gasps> That's how you do it! You take out Getsis. Getsis, you are out of here. We have five more important battles. Those will be tomorrow. I'm not in the video right here. The reason I'm not in this video right here is because I have something I have to go do. I'm going to be flying across the region, picking up a few more encounters, and then I will end off the video with a new encounter. I will know what team member I will use. And then tomorrow, Eli will be replaced. I got cocky with the Eli strategy. But, that was on me. I trusted Rosa whenever she said that at plus 30, I'm basically unkillable. And plus, I had plus 6 defenses. Yes, I realize that that was a special type move. But still, I thought I could live one with the Evia Light. Unfortunately, I could not. We lost Eli. So... The people that hate Stall, just like I do, well, there you go. You got your wish of not having to deal with Stall anymore. But, we still have a good team. Or a decent team, at least. So, I'm going to go ahead and let these uh, credits roll as N is continuing to talk to us. And I'm going to shut up, allow it to happen. And here you go.
Okay, those credits were pretty cool. I enjoyed those credits. But that's not going to be the end of the video. We have a few encounters we're going to get. I was going to save that for an entirely new video, but because we ended up failing the last time, I'm just... Oh, we're back in our house. And the sea gear is turning on, of course, because why not? I don't care about y'all. Um, I be in. I be get. What the fuck are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here, looker? I am a gold trotting. I am a gold trotting elite of the international police. Yes, I am. My name. Ah, no, no. I shall not afford you of my code name only. Yes, yes, yes. I shall. My code name. It is looker. It is how I am called. Yes, 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 indeed. Behind these scenes in this region of you know a organization called Team Plasma Conspires. This I have heard, and therefore to this region I must come. But, 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 thanks to the gym leaders and to you, yes, Team Plasma's castle has fallen. Yes, indeed it has. And the members, they have gone upon their separate ways. Yes, indeed, they certainly have gone separate ways. Yes, yes, this is what I hear, most certainly. But, 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 however, however, but, 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 the ones known as the Seven Sages, still, they hide themselves in the Unif region. And so, in the end, it explains why I must, yes, I, make, me, looker, yes, the International Police Agent, must ask uh, this of you, a trainer of an amazing skill, yes, I must, I must ask you this, to travel the Unif region, and search it up, and search it down for the Seven, Seven Sages, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Sages, older, the champion of renown, recommended you to my notice. Are you willing to help me? Excellent, I must thank you. Now, I feel as if I perhaps have a million people on my side. Thank you. Permit me to give you this into your hands. The fuck are you giving me? Super Rod. So he's gonna go ahead and give me a Super Rod, which is pretty nice, but this is a very weird video. We beat Getz's, we got a Super Rod, can we- Charon, get the hell out of here! I'm the champ! I beat in. I beat Getz's. What the hell were you doing this entire time? Sucking up to Alder like- I'm in Alder, I'm best fan! Oh, fuck off, mate. <laughs> I cannot stand Charon. Charon, Sharon, whatever the hell his name is. But. Thank you for the actual mode of my Pokedex. But, may I please go get my encounters now so I can actually edit this video and get it uploaded because I've got like a day until it needs to go up, but still. Took me forever. Ever to get that one recorded, I mean, not recorded to trained up. Okay, so I cannot get something here. That is extremely unfortunate. And I don't even have my freaking repel, I guarantee it. Our first encounter is. We've already had a world. We've already had the encounter on here. It was all the way back whenever we got the Grove Eye. I'm actually going to use our clap to surf here. There should be a few encounters over this way. This is still the same route, so this does not count as an encounter. Even if it, if it did, Beldum, we already we already had a Metagross who has unfortunately fallen to the wayside. Yes. Okay, I'm going to actually switch Eli out up front. Because he, because she is dead. Where are we? I'm gonna see what route we're on real quick. Not bag. I mean, not Pokemon bag. You're still technically on route one. P2 laboratory. Huh. Me wonder what that could be. 
We wonder indeed. Because this is the same route, I'm just going to avoid all this grass. And I'm going to try to get me a few encounters and just end off today's video. Also, wow, there is no electricity here. That is extremely weird. I didn't see the name, but I know this is a new route because I saw the thing pop up there. So I'm going to go ahead and get me an encounter here, and it will be... I need to get Pokeballs. It's a Crawdont, which is very nice. But I still kind of wish that I had Poke... I still wish I had balls because I only have an Ultra Ball and a Dream Ball. And I really don't want to have to use my only Pokeball. My basically Master Ball and a Crawdont. But I will. Fine. Use the freaking Dream Ball. It's a Master Ball, essentially. What? It said that I had a 255% chance of hitting. It's like the Master Ball, I thought. Okay. We are not getting anything there, it seems. You know what? I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to be right back at our new route, and I'm going to get an encounter there. Then we'll just keep on doing this until we get done. So I will be right Okay. So I went ahead and flew over here, and now we are on Route 11. We're going to pick up a Dust Ball, which... Actually, hold on. I'm going to go buy some Pokeballs. Should have done that. I apologize. I'll be right back. Okay. Back again. <laughs> Get an encounter on Route 11. It will be a... Ooh, okay. It's a Finneon. I like Finneon. I know that's a very weird opinion, but I like Finneon. It's a cool Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Quick Ball at it. If it doesn't catch, I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball at it. One. Two. Three. Got it. Finneon's data was added. The Wingfish Pokemon, 1 foot 4, 15.4 pounds. The line running down its side can store sunlight. It shines vividly at night. I want to name this thing Nemo. I know this is not a clownfish, but I want to name it Nemo because I have no other name for it. It's one of those Pokemon that I like, but I never use because it's so bad. Gonna pause again until we get a new encounter, so I will be right back yet again. Next, we have Village Bridge. There's there's a bit of grass down here, so let's go ahead and get our encounter in Village Bridge. Have we have have we ever had a Marowak? I think we have. Yeah, we have. Because. Uh, uh, one of the EVs that you end up getting at one point was randomized into a Cubone, so that's unfortunately going to be our encounter on this route gone. I'm going to go ahead and just head on over to the next area and see if I can get anything there. If not, well, that's going to kind of suck, but we are on Route 12 now, which is a new route for us. I'm going to pick up this Pokeball. What the hell is this move? I've never even heard of round. No idea. Ooh! We have actually never had a Dotrio. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a quick ball at this thing and hopefully be able to catch it because a Dodrio would be nice. Like, is not a bad Pokemon, to be honest. It's a little underrated. And I have a nickname for him already. One, two, three. There we go. So do well. You're all potentially added to the party. The twin bird Pokemon, four foot seven, eighty-six point four pounds. The brains in its two heads appear to be communicate emotions to each other with telepathic power. I, I really like the name Triforce for them. Also, question: Does it have the little hyphen thing in it? I'm gonna go ahead and add the hyphen thing. I don't know if that's even the correct name and capitalize the F. And we will have Triforce, the 
Dodrio, potentially. I thought I misspelled that for reasons. Also, Mouse, can you please get off my thing right there? Thank you. Head on over to the next area. But first, I'm going to pick up this ball. What in the world could this ball possibly be? It's a... There are items that the game has that are literally completely worthless. This is one of them. No one, and I repeat, no one runs Sticky Barb at all. The Konza Town, or however the hell you pronounce it, I have no idea. I just don't want to get into battles right now. I just want to get encounters and end off videos. Ooh, this is the only monkey we have not had. It's a Pan's Age. I like Pan's Age. It's an interesting little monkey. I actually have... No, we have it. It doesn't matter. Crap, crap, crap. If we catch this thing, it doesn't even matter because we gotta release it as is. So, fuck. There goes that encounter. Also, there is a bit of grass coming up, so I'm probably going to pause here. I'm not even gonna read this. You don't exist. So, pause, and I will be right back yet again. We're in Undela Town, and we can get a few encounters here, actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually make my way around here. Make my way around down. I'm going to get on Route 14, and we're going to go ahead and encounter a... God, yes, please give me that scissor. <laughs> Sorry, kind of just had a fanboy moment. Anyways, if you don't know what just happened while I'm talking about like, having to edit something out, it's because I accidentally clicked out of the screen and you saw what I was watching, and you don't need to see what I'm watching because it's a guilty pleasure show, and ye. So, Sizzle is gonna go ahead and get caught, and we have a Sizzle. The Pizza Pokemon. 5'11", 260 pounds. It raises its pincer with eye-like markings for intimidation. It also swings them down dangerously. <sighs> Who do we... So, okay. I'm going to explain my reasoning for this, but... I'm going to have to first check if it fits. It does not. But this one will. Okay, so I was originally going to name this thing Beth Phoenix. If you know why, well, good job. If not, well, I'll go ahead and explain it. It's because Scizor's main ability is Technician. And I thought of, like, a technical professional wrestler, and I... And since this is a girl, I thought of Beth Phoenix. Gail Kim is going to have to work, though. So, we got Gail Kim the Sizzle. And we're also going to go ahead and get an encounter in Undela, or Undula, or whatever the hell it is. And it's going to go ahead and be a... Shoot, do we... Have we ever had a, um, yes we have actually. This is interesting though. Huh. How do I want to count this? Because we've had a, a Dust Hawk, which Silcoon evolves into Beautifly, not Dust Hawk. But, there is a branch evolution. So would you count these Pokemon as being the same family? I will, unfortunately. So we will not be getting an encounter here. There goes our Undella encounter. I know that we can get one on Undella Bay also. So I'm going to go ahead and head over here. Hop in the water. See what I get. And it is a... Fucking A. This is basically the same case. We had a Jolteon who evolves from Eevee. Who can also evolve from into Flareon. So, lovely. Again, 
I'm gonna pause. I will be right back, and I will see you in just a moment. So, uh, while I was making my way to the next route, I ended up crossing that bridge where in Black and White 2 you have the, uh, Cresselia Darkrai event, and I ended up running into a Spinda. The Spinda was apparently flying. So let's go ahead and catch a flying Spinda. I'm gonna call this thing Drunk Panda, assuming I catch it. So, that, that's a thing. We got a drunk, ooh, it did the little shake in the air. That should automatically mean a cat. Oh my god, it did. That is nice. We get the Spinda. The Spot Panda Pokemon, 3 foot 7, 11 pounds. No two Spindas have the same pattern of spots. It's tottering steps foul the aim of foes. So your name is going to be Trunk Panda, because that is the best name ever for a Spinda, and I don't care. I like the name Trunk Panda. Unfortunately, I cannot put a space in there, but I can just do this. Wish this was 6 gen where you can have up to 12 letters, because I want to name this thing Drunk Panda with a space in it. Not Drunk Panda with a space in it, as its name, just... Hello? Um... They gave us an Adamant Orb. Why would you give me an Adamant Orb? An Illustrious Orb. Why would you give me these orbs? I... I... What the hell are you doing? Why are you giving me these things? I mean, they're completely worthless to me. Don't you realize that? Also, didn't I end up getting like a Gridius Orb at the very beginning of this game? And I kind of bitched about, How did you not let me use a freaking, uh, what the hell is his name? I've already forgot, uh, Giratina. Yeah, I forgot what his name is and I bitched about it then too. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> Quiet. Really? I'm gonna get into a, I'm gonna get into a fight here. <sighs> Fine. Fine, fine, fine. You're irrelevant anyways, Corfish. So go ahead and get out of here. Get bug bugs. <laughs> Did that just say guillotine? That better not have said guillotine. Riolu, um... Riolu was a really broken Pokemon last generation. Because all you had to do was set up Stealth Rocks, then Roar, Copycat. Copycat, you Roar, and they literally could do nothing to you unless they had plus two priority. And how many moves are plus two priority? I know extreme speed, and that's about it. So, you were basically screwed unless you had extreme speed and you could one-shot it. Because you couldn't freely switch. You couldn't do anything. Also, Clap is just kind of running through Pokemon at this point. Gonna take my mouse off the screen. And off my desk. <sighs> but our encounter on this route is Scraggy! Dude, I love Scraggy! It's a little hoodlum. That was not supposed to be a reference. I just realized it was, though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch a Scraggy. I know Scraggy is not the best Pokemon in the world, but it's a Scraggy! What? Who wouldn't like a Scraggy on their team? Shedding Pokemon, 2 foot, 26 pounds. Its skin has a rubbery, rubbery elasticity, so it can reduce the damage by defensively pulling its skin up to its neck. Why did I have to think of that? I thought of circumcision. I am not naming you Circumcision, I have far too much respect for you for that. No, I don't. Who the hell am I kidding? We're gonna name this thing Circumcision. I'm not even sure if this is how you spell it. I can't... I know there's no P in it. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> no one asked you. Please tell me. Trade my Rotom for your Ditto. That would have been amazing, but unfortunate. Ooh! I want to do that. I want to do a solo run with a Ditto. Like, is that even possible? Because if so, I really want to try that. Also, what the hell is this? What the actual fuck? 
Okay. The city's not being done built. That's weird. Route 14. Okay, so we can get an encounter in Route 14, I believe. Except we really can't, because it's a Jertini, you know, and all the way back in Crystal, we had a dragon air, so... Yeah! Fuck you. <sighs> that sucks. We could have also had another Scizor, which would have also sucked, because we already got one, and we can only have one per route. So, going to pause, going to go to the next route. You know the drill by now. See you in a moment. Okay, so we're in the box. The reason for that is because there are actually no new encounters that we can get. These are the final Pokemon that we can possibly have. So let's go ahead and look at them real quick. Quiet Nature, Finneon, Repeat Ball, Special Attack Boosting, Speed Lowering with a Speed Boost, I mean with a Swift Swim ability, with Whirlpool, U-Turn, Bounce, and Silver Wind. It's not awful. <gasps> Holy shit! Yes! 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 Adam and Scizor! Technician! My heart be damned! Razor Wind, Iron Defense, Iron X Scissors, Night Slash, holy shit! Our Drunk Panda, Bold Nature, Tangled Feet, Teeter Dance, Psych Up, Double Edge, and Flail. And we got Circumcision, of course, I named it this. Bold Nature, which is kind of bad. Shed Skin Ability with Scary Face Crunch for Sod and Rock Climb. Then we have our Hasty Nature, Triforce the Totoro. Early Bird, Fury Attack Pursuit, Uproar, and Acupressure. And that is actually it. That is the video. I, I have a feeling who I'm taking. I have a huge feeling who I'm taking. You probably can guess, but I'm not going to say it just in case you don't. Either way, tomorrow will be the finale of Black. We will be taking on the Elite Four and Alder. So, I gotta go train, and I will be right back. And I will be back tomorrow. So, thank you for watching, and 